welcome to the Master Wong Wing Chun Training System, masterwong.tv. I will talk to you a little bit about today, a little bit on to the Wing Chun technique movement. Like I mentioned, all the different uh, training section or lesson, it's not about on to the right and wrong the way you do it. Wrong can be right, right can be wrong. Depend what situation you're in, how you're using. Sometimes it bad position become good position. Good position become bad position. You need to understand how to use it thing. Today we talked a bit of pack sao. Pack sao. You will refer on to like 12 pack sao that we do to the JKD. This is Wing Chun we're using slightly different way pack sao. So you can understand me. Let me put a uh, Tyrone here so I can show you what you mean by using pack sao. What is a pack sao? When you pan come along, I'm pack. That's a pack, yeah? Pack sao, yeah? Pack sao, yeah? A lot of time people are using to do them along the line like punching here, punch, yeah, like that, on the same line like this, okay? Same line like this, like that. Training, we like to be free a little bit. And sometimes when he's punching, he punching like hand out like this. Instead of hand punching like this, in some case when you punch like this, uh, like straight like, like that, it's easy to pack, yeah? Easy to pack, easy to pack, yeah? So it looks like, yeah man, I'm cool now because I'm packing, mm, I'm packed out. But the reality is when you're in the real life training, fight or fighting, when you, when you see somebody gonna pack you like the punch it, he always like this. It's a natural thing that people do. First thing they're born, they punch you like this because that's what naturally. So you don't punch him like the normal Wing Chun uh, punch like this for you to able to pack, yeah, for you to pack him. So it's easy to pack him, yeah. Then you got to understand in the line when you come in, so pack. Now when you pack so, Few things you understand. Put hand back, you got to be here. Pack again, put hand back, then that's the problem. Pack again, put hand back, that's another problem. Don't force too much onto the movement. Tense when you need to. Relax when you have to. It's not that you want to, it's the situation made you to do that. If you start to pack him, and he certainly bring your hand back, I'm lean forward, and what happened? crack and you lost your front teeth and then you will have problem because you don't look pretty no more. So try to understanding the purpose of his training. So when he punch, I learned to have the hand here. Move your hand. I'm not, I'm not interesting on him that he punching me. I need to be leaning forward or what? If he chop and put the hand back, I'm here. Punch this high, chop and pull back, I'm here. I'm not touching. I'm not trying to tracing him because tracing him is hard work. So Packs out. Why are you using packs here and then pack here? It's you're learning to understand the line here. As you come in for the pack, you hit, you punch this side, you can turn, and then you can hit, and then you can pack. Again, this is all the pack, hand, pack out, and coming to attack. Pack out using for a lot to do trapping, because you turn, hit, and then you turn, and you pack. Pack the hand down for you to attack, because you don't pack the hand down, you can't attack. Yeah, so you pack. That's where pack. Oh, gum sao. Some from using gum. We explain to pack and gum, slightly different, okay? Pack, you go like that, gum, you go like that. Now, you tell me what's the difference? Not really, pack, just pack the hand, and gum is like gum. This is gum, so, gum, pressing hand, you press him down. So many different variations, hand position, is confusing. So what we're gonna do is, on a pack alone, is we just do the chew, the pack alone. It's only chew. From that chew, you can't stimulate through any contact. So what happened, you start from the, 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 the tan to the pack. So the tan, yeah, and then the pack, and then you hit, okay? Or tan, and then the gum. So that's when you gum, you push it down here, and you hit, okay? So you've got to add few elements in. It's like um, uh, cooking. You can't just have fire with no water. You can't cook jack. If you put some rice in without no water, you can't cook anything. So you need element. Different element make things happen. Okay, so when you put a pack on, concentrate on the pack sound, it's learning hand and learning hand. Pack, tan, pack, tan, pack. Yeah, or sometimes you like you said before, and you can have bong, tan, pack, the line of the movement, and then back again, fuk, and then fuk, and then fuk, and fuk. It's up to you how you want to, to use it. Element the same. Now, on a pack side, when you're punching, it's learn about the pack in the pack. You have to control the line where. If you want to put a little bit force in here so you can control him, 
you for a jerk. That's why the pack is there to control. If it's too close, I ping it in for the jut. Okay? So the pack is a very good uh, hand position that you're guiding. Guide him where? Where you want him? Don't guide him too much because you cannot do that. You've got a problem here. So when a pack comes in here, I need to know where. This is the first setup. Oh, pack. Just right in line so I can jut him. Yeah? Oh, pack. I can come along and then I can pack. Come in here on straight palm attack, for instance, and then we go one pack, two pack, yeah, pack and jet, for instance, pack and jet, yeah. So this is why the pack side. So punch again, this side and the pack. Again, I got need a guy in where I want the the hand to be packed coming in. Then I pack and I can hit. Now block and again pack and I hit and again pack and hit and again pack and hit. See each one here is a pack and hit and then pack and hit. Okay, thank you. That's the idea of. Packs, how do you put them together? On the hand, you have element. You have the pack coming in without no element, then you have problem. So the idea is you learn to eat of the hand position to understanding you. So you are controlling all this movement. Not all this movement control your body. So make it work for you. Play safe. I will see you again on the next one.